Swaysus have just released their brand new BIOS 330 update for the ROG Ally. However, there are early reports that there is some kind of install bug that quite a few Ally owners have been experiencing. So let's take a closer look. Plus, we'll look at an incredible emulation accessory for the Ally. So let's dive straight in and yes, early updaters are reporting that it keeps asking to reinstall the BIOS after installing it, with an update notification still prompting after it being updated. Just before I update, I'm going into the My Asus app, clicking on System Info, and we can see here that I'm on the old 323 BIOS. After the update, this should change to the brand new 330. So let's go ahead and update by clicking on the Essential Update tab, opening the BIOS info to double check it's the new 330, and then download all, and oops, don't forget folks that we need to be plugged in to do this update. Okay, so I've just plugged in, let's restart our ally, and I don't know about you, but I think that this is a perfect time for a pancake intermission. Okay, so the Ally has restarted and it's still showing it needs to be updated. So this bug is present for me too right here. And it just seems to be hanging on the updater as you can see on the right here. Let's head into system info and it should display the new 330, but no, it's still showing the old 323. <sighs> Okay, so it says that the update has failed, so let's search for it again. Uh, it's now found it, so let's restart. Uh, this is looking hopeful as it's now showing this BIOS upgrade warning message that didn't appear on our first attempt. So it is looking good on this second attempt. So after about 10 minutes of that BIOS message, we're back in and it's still showing this essential update message. We're heading into the update area and yes, it does now state that the device is finally updated to the latest version and that we are indeed on 330, hooray! Let's just double check by going into system info and yes, we truly are on 330. So for me, it did take a second attempt, so just stick with this guys, ignore that first essential update message and double check that you're on 330 right here. Just before we check out what's new in this BIOS 330, don't miss out on any of these breaking news update videos by slapping those like, subscribe and enable notification buttons because you guys are awesome. Never forget that. Next, let's see what's in the BIOS 330 changelog notes, and it states an incredibly generic, optimized overall system stability. Let us know in the comments below over these next few days if you notice exactly what some of these optimizations and stability improvements are. A big shout out to Latasha and the team at JM who sent me their two terabyte SSD card packs full of almost 40,000 retro games to try out with the ROG Ally. There's pretty much every retro console on here such as GameCube, Game Boy, Wii and Wii U, Genesis, Game Gear, PS1 and PS2, PSP, PS3, old arcade games and just so much more. Longtime viewers of the channel know that for me, it's the Super Nintendo that was my favorite console growing up. So to have all of these games already set up in Retrobat while not taking up any precious storage space on the Ally is incredible. So if you're into emulation and playing all these old classics to relive our childhoods, then this is an absolutely essential purchase. And link is in the description. And I'd love to hear whether you encountered this install bug and if the installation worked for you on the second time like it did for me. Let us know in the comments. And as a little extra bonus for watching right till the end of the video, I'd love to share this awesome quote. Life is too short to tolerate nonsense. Cut out negativity, ignore gossip, and let go of fake people and their drama. 
Life really is too short to be dealing with unnecessary stress, toxic people and all those things that bring us down. So stay encouraged today guys. And check this video out if you want to get the very best settings and title screen fix for the awesome EA Sports FC24. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.